And welcome everybody to episode four of Life Wave Lifestyles. Dr. Pat Conti, myself, Swami, and our guests today are Pat Robinson and Dick Wilcott. And we are, as we always do, we start with some lifestyle discussion. Dr. Pat will talk about the third constitution in Ayurveda and how it applies, how you understand it through Western medicine as well. Then we'll interview our friends here, these 20-year-olds, and then we will talk some science. So Dr. Pat, take it away. Last two meetings, we discussed the the Vada and Pitta body types. Vada, people know in, in modern language as the ectomorphic body type. The mesomorphic body type is the Pitta body type. And the third body type that we talk about, or the constitution, is the, Vata, the Kapha. Kapha. And our Veda is made up of water and earth, the two major elements that have to do with the Kapha body type. And that is people that have a large body frame, thick bones, heavier, stockier people. And they developed from the endoderm that produces mainly the digestive organs. The uh, liver, spleen, uh, I should say the liver, pancreas, gallbladder, stomach, intestines. So these are the major organs of digestion. They also it also produces the some of the endocrine glands, such as the thymus gland in the chest the thyroid gland and the parathyroid glands are very, very important glands in the body that provide homeostasis to the body that keeps us at an even keel. And the chronically speaking. So the half of body type, as I mentioned, is a heavier body type. And it has to do with the parasympathetic nervous system. The Vata people who tend to be tall, skinny, anxious, movement, a lot of movement, they're dominated by the sympathetic nervous system, which keeps you going, like fight or flight kind of reaction people. The Kapha people are a little slower. They are activated by the parasympathetic nervous system that keeps things nice and calm and cool. I think I mentioned uh, a while back that uh, Deepak Chopra had was talk, get, uh, told, told a story about when he was in the O'Hare airport and he wanted to go back to California, but the flight was canceled. It was the middle of winter and they had a snowstorm, couldn't leave. So the announcement came over the PA system that this flight to LA was canceled. Well, the, the Vada people or the ectomorphic people dominated by the sympathetic nervous system were in a tizzy. They were running around. They didn't know how to get back to LA. They're calling everybody up. They're running around. They're crying. They're nervous. The pit of people are a little more strong-minded, strong-willed, and they're at the desk and they're pounding their fist on the table. You can't cancel the flight. We have to get back. You got to do something. They're yelling expletives at the poor stewards behind the desk. And the Kafa people, they just nonchalantly slithered off into the ice cream parlor. But that gives you the the distinction, a vast distinction between the two kind of people. Now, the Kapha people, because they're dominated by a parasympathetic nervous system, they tend to be, 
have a, a, a thicker dermis. Sub, it's the subcutaneous tissue. That's why they have a, a thick skin. It looks like it's a thick skin because of the subcutaneous tissue. The Vada people have very little. That's why when you put the tourniquet on the patient to take blood, the Vada people, ectomorphic people, the veins pop out. But the endomorphic people, the Katha people, put a tourniquet on and you still can't see the veins. So you have to press all over and see if you can find a vein and they stick the needle in, close your eyes and hope you hit a vein. Uh, but the, the, the Katha people, they take a little longer to learn, but they're like the elephant. Once they learn something, they never forget. The, the Vada people learn very quickly, but they don't remember as well. Now, because these people are have to do with, with the GI system and the pancreas, they have a little more difficulty with carbohydrate metabolism. So these people should avoid all the sweets, right? all the things that we love to eat, ice cream, cake, candy, desserts, pastas, pizza, all these things. They have to watch out because they will help them gain weight. And because they are also dominated by the water element in the body, they tend to retain fluid. And if they retain too much fluid, then the ankle swell. And it also can produce some more pressure in the heart. So these people tend to develop congestive heart failure. So they want to keep down, keep not overload themselves with water, watch out for the salt. And the other thing, as I mentioned with the body types, the Vada people, because they tend to be dry, we don't want to give them diuretics if we don't have to. The Katha people tend to have more fluid on board, so you got to be careful. You don't want to give them too much, too many salty foods. The other thing is because they're dominated by the parasympathetic nervous system, which slows things down, we have to watch out when we treat these people with beta blockers. Beta blockers slow everything down. Uh, you call here. Anyway, they have to slow beta blocker, down right? the body. So they tend to have a slow heart rate to begin with. When you give them beta blockers, it even slows the heart rate even more. So you'll be very, very cautious when we treat patients with uh, beta blockers that are cough of people, cough of, or we in modern medicine call them endomorphic people. So I have a question for you, doc. Sure. So they just, I read an article the other day, and by the way, I, I, I failed to say before, let me say it now. The show is for entertainment and educational purposes only, even though Dr. Conti is a medical doctor, he's not your personal doctor. We're not giving any advice here, medical advice. We're not trying to treat, diagnose, prescribe, cure, heal, any condition, talk to your holistic healthcare practitioner for anything at all. And if anything you're interested in here, run it by them as well. Try to make sure your holistic healthcare practitioner is open-minded, which would make them holistic. <laughs> uh, so question for you. I just read an article, I think yesterday or today, that these low-carb diets, they're now finding it's not very healthy for a lot of people. And I forgot what was missing that you needed the carbs for. Uh, my question to you is, well, if you could address that, but particularly... I would say probably of the three constitutions, the water, the kapha dosha person would be the one that would be best suited for low carb diet. That's right. It's not one diet fits all. Depends on your constitution. This is what we learned from Ayurveda. By the way, Ayurveda comes from two Sanskrit words. Ayus means life or really existence. And Veda means wisdom and knowledge of. So... Uh, there's a lot of 
tremendous ancient wisdom that we can learn from Ayurveda. Yes, the when we look, when we as an Ayurvedic physician, when we prescribe a diet for people, we look, first look at their constitution, what they should have, what they shouldn't have. Again, uh, it, people that are Vata people, they tend to be cold and dry. So you don't want to give them a lot of dry foods or cold foods. You want to have warming foods for them. The Kapha people, they tend to be a little more moist, more wet in their constitution. So you have to watch out. You don't overload them with a lot of fluids. Uh, so again, one diet isn't for everyone. It may right. be for a lot of people, but may not be right for you. So we have to look at your constitution to determine. This is one of the things I was going to get into, what kind of diet that the different dosha people should should take, should follow. We'll cover that next time. Yes. Next meeting. I just real quick, um, I know your habit as a doctor is to say, but even a doctor, Ayurvedic doctors don't prescribe uh, food plans or herbs. They recommend them because it's a holistic practice. Prescription relates to the drug. So I know you're used to using that term with your patients, with your medical patients. So I just wanted to Keep it clear here, no Ayurvedic doctor prescribes anything, even personally. They'll recommend it. That's all we can do in the holistic field. Well, what I was really driving at was, yeah, I, I better not even say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be compliant. <laughs> just, just have an idea. Just like uh, I was going to mention the pit of people that have a lot of heat in their body. Yeah, heat burns, and things like aspirin also burns to that, and also imbalance the people. So you got to be careful if they take a lot of aspirin because aspirin burns is an acid. So you have to keep the acidic foods and the hot spicy foods at a low level in your diet. Anyway, all right. So. Um... I think that's pretty good. Any last thought you wanted to wrap up with here? And then we can move on to our testimonial of the day. Well, last thing is, if I can just say this, we are not all Vada, all Pitta, all Kapha. If you have a Vada constitution, you have some Pitta and Vada and Kapha in you as well, and which is what we are born with. We're born with the three doshas at various, usually at various levels. So you want, oh, it's like a fingerprint that we're born with. So we always want to maintain that proportion of the three doshas. So not to imbalance your main dosha. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Dr. Pat Conti. Now we move on to our testimonials. And today we have another Pat with us, Pat Robinson and Dick. Wilcott. So tell us uh, first how you got into the patches, how you heard about them, and what made you want to try them. And then what were some of the results? I went to um uh, I went to a garage sale at the World Equestrian Center in Florida, and this woman had pictures of um before and after pictures. Um, that caught my attention. She had them displayed on her table. And um, she briefly told me about what she was selling and put a patch on a friend of mine who had just been, had was recovering from serious injury. Um, I took the cards and I brought them home. And I was kind of curious, but I laid them aside. I think a month or two went by and... One day I decided to give her a call and ask her more about it. And I, I put in an order. Um, I tried, uh, I, the first day I, I put on a patch, I felt more energetic that day. Um, about the third day I had put on the patch, I felt happier. Uh, I, I just, I had this energy and, I can smile. I could 
now laugh at Swami's punny jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> so and, Nick loves them. That's why I say them. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, I think a week went by and I, I was now going under my fence without, I was without much struggle. Usually I get down on my knees and I use my hands and I get in the dirt to go under the fence to get to the horses. To get to the horses. And now I was just kind of squatting and getting underneath the fence. And by that point, I think it was a week later, Swami decided he was going to try them. Um, well, just, just says, as I remember, day one, you knocked on my door giggling. <laughs> yeah, okay. And and on day three, you were ducking under the fence. Okay. And you yeah, said I to agree. me, um, you had fibromyalgia and arthritis and you couldn't bend for decades. Yeah. But look today, we were all watching you going, yeah. I want what she has, <laughs> whatever she's doing. <laughs> um. So I, uh, I started to feel better and better by... Um, my energy was better. I noticed I wasn't drinking as much caffeine. Um, somewhere around six weeks, I think it was, um, I was kneeling on the floor and I picked up something from the floor and I stood up and I realized I hadn't used my hands at all. Wow. Um, usually it's like, get down on your hands and your knees and you're going, Ugh! you crawl in and you know you got to get back and it it just amazed me i was just I, I was just astonished i had to run and tell dick i just got up off the floor and i didn't use my hands <laughs> um yes. and a lot of times now i show people that i said look what i can do <laughs> yeah and, and there's a lot more subtle stuff that was going on i i found myself walking down the stairs without holding on to the railing um a couple of times something that would have normally tripped me or uneven ground that would make me lose my balance. And that wasn't happening. Um, just recently I was carrying eggs and my heel got caught on the step and for sure I would have went down with those eggs in my hand and I caught myself. I mean, that's, that's really amazing stuff to me. Um, my knees don't hurt anymore going down the stairs or going up the stairs. They, my legs kind of lift easier that used to be where I'd feel like I wanted to just pull them up, but now they're going up. Um, yeah. Yesterday, I ran after my granddaughter downhill <laughs> towards the barn. Usually, I I walk a, like a horse across the hill, turn around, walk across the other way. Now I'm going straight down the hill because my knees are not feeling the pressure from going straight down the hill. Um, I ran after her to catch up with her in the barn. Um downhill uh I, I this past week i was riding and i hadn't been riding much and usually if i don't ride every at least once a week my inner thighs ache my legs are tired yes they ache the first day but within an hour they weren't aching and the next morning they weren't tight and aching so my wow. recovery now is is probably gone to back 20 years um, my recovery from physical activity. Uh, when I use this so-called stem cell reversing patch X39 with the Eon, uh, with the X49 patch, I can work out a little harder at the gym without after effects. I, in fact, it's fun <laughs> to go to the gym. And the greatest two things, the recovery this weekend was the fast recovery was, was nice. But the, the biggest thing was my glasses that I had gotten about five or six months ago, I felt like my eyes were battling each other to see. It just wasn't right. It was only a six-month prescription at the most. I went to the eye doctor yesterday, and he checked my eyes. He says, I don't know what you're doing here. This is a new prescription. I said, because my eyes don't feel right. The new prescription I got, I compared it with the old prescription from two and a half years ago. My eyes have gotten stronger. They've gotten better. That was my surprise. Oh. And I, went, I, I regressed two years younger, two and a half years younger on my eyes. 
Wow. And and how long since when did you start wearing the patches? I start you... uh, I'm going on my fourth month. Fourth month. So, oh. so your eyes reversed two years roughly yeah. in four months. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. And nighttime, I, I don't always put the light on in the barn because I could see a little better. I don't panic when I'm walking in the dark because I can see a little better. Hmm. That was the other thing I noticed. Wow. Dr. Pat, you have any questions? Uh, that's fabulous. It's only four months. Imagine in four it's, years what you're going to be three, like. It's three <laughs> months going into four. Yeah. That's amazing. I was just wondering about how how effective it would be for people who have macular degeneration. There was a testimony that I just saw one recently. He said mac mac macular degeneration. I just saw one recently and they were wearing the patches up on their eyes, right, uh, on their temples. Eon, Eon I think. Isn't, isn't the, uh, they had the X39 on the, on the back of the neck as normal and they, she had a right eye problem, I think. Right and eye, she yeah. put it on the right temple. Wow. Yeah, in three months. Let me interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, they had a, I don't know if it was an x ray or whatever. Or whatever the doctor does, he's it, got to have pictures of the eye. He has a picture of the eye piece. And there's a little V in the top of whatever that piece was. And, that membrane. Yeah. And the, the bad one, that, that V has gone up. It, it was swelling underneath. Wow. And three months later, it was a little bit down. Six months later, it was just like the other eye. Perfect. Wow. Oh. And uh, that was just from the uh, Eon patch on her temple. No, the Eon and the X39. Yeah. Yeah. And which patches are you using, Pat? The three that I use the most are X39, X49. I use that for muscles and joints, but also because I've been diagnosed with osteosporosis. I don't believe it. I've fallen off horses. Thank God my bones stay together, but... Uh, and I'm very active, but uh, you know, I'm giving it, I want to build that bone. I can't wait to get my next DEXA scan. Um, so and, just to be clear, just to be clear, cause we don't diagnose problems uh, or conditions. The X49 is known to improve the bone density. Right. Right. Okay. Right. So I'm giving that a try. Um, and the, the third one I use Eon because I've learned to love Eon because I've had arthritis pain in my feet, in my knees, in my right wrist, uh, carpal tunnel. Um, I use it sometimes right there. And it, my carpal tunnel, I forgot about that. That's pretty much gone. I don't cuff my hand anymore at night. I don't wrap it during the day. I sometimes have a little tingling, but I haven't had any today at all. Sometimes I stick it right there. But the Eon takes away pain sometimes in minutes on yeah. my whole body. Yeah, mm. awesome. I've gone from needing orthotics to wearing barefoot shoes. Um, that's just amazing. I don't have to wear those orthotics and those hard soled shoes. I can feel the ground. Maybe that's fixing my balance. Well, that uh, does too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it it's your whole uh, uh, body position is yeah. the posture is improved from those yeah. shoes. Yeah, I've experienced that. Yep. So in just three months, you've done this. Yeah. Awesome. And anything else you wanted to talk about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I could see my scalp in the front of my head. I don't can't uh -huh. see it anymore. My hair has gotten thicker. It doesn't even lay flat anymore because it's thicker. Uh -huh. And I see black shadow here. I'm actually getting black hairs back. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. wow. That's pretty interesting. I have to go buy a dress for the prom now. <laughs> <laughs> Going dancing Saturday night for my birthday, 76. Uh, 76 Trump. <laughs> all right. Awesome. That's that's really great. Great, great. Pat, Dr. Pat, anything else you wanted to ask about that or comment on? Well, I think it's just amazing. It just goes to show that the patches can help. I shouldn't say this. Almost any condition. Yeah. And I think uh, I personally feel that everybody should be on the patches. Yeah. It, even though 
it, it's not, there are no, the, the, ba the best thing about the patches is that there are no side effects, no, no side effects. effects. No like drugs therapy. It's not nothing transdermally is entering your body. It's you are healing yourself. Yeah. I think that's the way God made us to heal ourselves. But we forget how to do it. Our body I feel so confident now about my health because I feel like I'm healing instead of breaking down every day as I get older. Mm -hmm. Because no matter how conscious I've been about eating and exercise, you still feel every day like you were fighting a downhill battle. And now I feel like I'm going upwards and it's wonderful. Yes. And did, how are you doing? You used to have like a lot of different vitamins and pills and things to take care of. You still on yeah. them or do you need them as much? I've just taken probably less than half now. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I do take uh, bioidentical hormones and I'm hoping that that will, that's something else I can phase out eventually. Yeah. There's been some testimonial videos on that too, actually. So, well, thank you. you a lot of money. That stuff's expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, how about you, Mr. Dick? Tell okay. us your story. Um, I guess uh, I've been on the patches only probably little just under two months something yeah. like that and uh generally my my findings have been a little more subtle the uh, and let me let me say right up front that i have not consistently used anything but the x49 x39 okay i haven't found that the other patches had any did anything significant that i could feel right away Anybody okay. but been religious on the X thirty nine. Right, right. Um, the very, the very next day after I started, I was walking out to the barn, and I discovered that I was walking straight instead of standing up, like a military posture. Wow. I said, what What's this? You know. Now, since yeah. then, I haven't noticed it because maybe I'm that way. I don't know. Yeah. That can tell me. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I haven't said straighten up. Yeah. <laughs> um, generally, uh, in the first few weeks, uh, I had a feeling of well-being and so forth, and that, that's consistent. And quite frankly, my um, the results have been subtle. Uh I noticed very soon on that the burning at the bottom of my feet stopped. Wow, that's great. And you know that and the, the shoes used to be bothering me all the time that you wear for a few hours and they bother me. They're not right still, but they, they don't bother me so much. <laughs> um generally uh I've my my right shoulder has had had pain. It need it should be fixed, and it's not, and that is reduced substantially. Probably seventy five percent reduced. Wow! So once in a while, I get zinged with a severe piece, but most of the, the rest of the time, it's at a one or two level. You barely notice it. Um, and I think the major thing that has affected me is that. Um, I have a lot more energy and and recovery, like Pat says. As mm -hmm. you know, Swami, we got we're up three flights of stairs, and you go downhill to the barn and so forth. When I came up to the top of the stairs, I was out of breath, and I had to pull myself up the stairs with my hands too. Now, mm -hmm. it's not perfect, but I'm a lot. It's a lot easier. You know, so, two months. That's pretty good for two you, months. And you've said <laughs> that uh, I was getting out of the car easier, so I'm more flexible. And, yeah. And respect. Um, what else? Um, one of the things I noticed recently is I must be detoxing because I'm peeing a lot and I'm passing uh, gas a lot. Okay. So I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, I haven't changed my diet that much and I'm assuming that that's detoxing. Um, Just drink I, a little fluids. I, you know, I have uh, a heart valve condition and a, and a, a slow ventricle electrical going through my heart okay and so i suspect that the x39 is working on that long term 
So that's yeah. that's kind of what I'm aiming at, and, and also my uh, prostate. So you know those kinds of things are what I'm doing. But uh, you know I'm feeling pretty good. And, For two and, months, that's really yeah, really really good. Nothing Amazing. great, but overall just general general feeling a lot better. And anything else you would want to talk about? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on my hair, on my arms. This hair, got, <laughs> this hair, in the first few weeks or month, this hair got like it is, you know, fuzzy. And wow. and more recently, it's got more black in it. Yeah, and more recently, very fine black hairs are yeah. growing in it. And Pat tells me I can't see it, but at the same back thing, here. it's up, falling up in, in in the back. back uh, Pat, I've got black hairs going up there. So who knows? All, All right. right. If I have some notes here, let's see if I missed anything. My balance is better. Vivid dreams, sleeping like a log. Nice. There are two things that are recommended. One thing is to drink a lot of fluids. Because oh, yeah, I am. Dick was talking about detoxifying. You have to get rid of those toxins from your body. Otherwise, they're going to build up. So you have to drink a lot of fluids. And I have been. And it's going That's to another reason. Right for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have to rid of those. And it's also probably a good idea to take some vitamin D. Well, we do. We do. We do. Yeah. That, 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 they're the main things I have to consider. I I uh, forgot to mention, because this happened towards the very beginning. When I used to sit quietly, I used to have some flutter in my chest, and everybody worries about that, so I had to worry about it. That disappeared quite quickly. I, maybe once a month I might get a slight little flutter, but once, you know, not not three or four or five in a row. And I'm not coughing because I'm, you know, it got that extra beat. Uh, and that's an important thing. Wow. And that's, and you're again, you're X39, X49. And, and Eon. Eon. And Eon also helps. I, I have, I'm an ADHD person and it just helps to slow my thinking down. And I feel like when I'm driving the horses in the big truck, I feel calmer. I feel mm -hmm. able to stay more focused. Um, I can feel the difference that way with the Eon. Nice. And Dick's a one patch wonder. <laughs> well, you know, the first month I was playing with Eon and X49 uh -huh. and Zion yeah. uh, and, and Glutathione, Glutathione. Mm -hmm. Cosamine or whatever it is. Glutamine, yeah. yeah. And uh, I didn't notice anything spectacular. So I said, what the heck with it? Let me just stay with the X40, X39. Yeah. What I'm interested in is the uh, stem cells, and the X39 is the one that generates the stem cells. Yes, right. That's what I'm after right. with, the, with the serious stuff. Yeah. Very allergies good. too. My allergies have been better. <laughs> yeah, so, we just that's why we ask people to make a list of everything they want to yeah, address. I, I meant because you don't that. notice when pain goes away. You only yeah. notice when pain is there. That's true. That's true. We don't realize it. But it's a good idea to list all your problems before you start taking the patches. Yeah. List everything. And then look at every month, look at it and see what's getting better. What is you what you can remove from that list. And not only what's serious, but all the little things that irritate you. You're, yes, the irritating the little, little things, things. The little things that would disappear first. So you want to know that. Right. Exactly. Write everything down. It's very important. Because you don't and realize, it, because you think after a while, you don't have any difficulty, you don't have any pain or whatever. And you say, well, patches aren't doing anything. But then when you think back, oh, yeah, I used to have pain over here. My hand <laughs> used to bother me. My knee used to bother me. But uh, you forget. My nails are growing. Yeah. You know, I, I trim my nails at least once a week now. I never used to. I haven't been <laughs> able to keep nails. Usually with horses, they get broken. They're growing. i got to keep cutting them down. So, so that's a downside. You're saying, <laughs> <laughs> and and Dick, uh, did you mention how old you are? You're talking about more energy and all that. It's turned eighty-five a couple of weeks ago. Congratulations! 
And I'm, I'm blessed with good genes. I got to thank my parents for that. But uh, yeah. that takes care of me with the food too. Yeah, well, sure that helps. I got to get off this ultra processed food. I don't, I don't know how. He eats a lot of those granola bars, you know. At least they're very low sugar and high protein. So, yeah, that's still an all. It's yeah. I mean, it's good. It's good to to get do. So at least slowly start to taper it off. What I'm finding is after a while, um, I don't, I, I can't eat as much at the same time. Um, and I don't like, I'm losing my taste for things, more sweet things than I used to. I'm having the same experience, yeah. yeah. Yes. But it's hard to get away from that ultra processed stuff. It's everywhere. It's in, it's in everything. Yeah. Well, if you only had somebody could cook you those Whole uh, yeah, if he uh, only had somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really great. That thank you so much for sharing, both of you, and it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, very common conditions, and the fact that you notice things in two weeks, two months, uh, it's just beginning, you know. And, and I'm going to actually talk about what we can expect. Every, every so what are the mile markers so i'm going to perfect segue into that so i am going to actually share my screen so folks can see this chart share this share okay all right so can you guys see the uh the blue yes, picture that's good. So I'm just going to read this over and you guys can comment along the way. Or So when we wear the X39, the first, this is all the, what they found in their, in their research. They've done double blind, blind studies. There's uh, at, the, over a hundred research studies. Some of them they found that in the first few days, 4,000 genes to be, begin to be reset. Within 24 hours, 3,000 to 4,000 genes begin to be reset to a healthier, younger state. Then, and as Pat and Dick said, even in the first few days, they noticed things happening. Within four weeks, within the month, the a new army is activated. It attract uh, your new army is now activated and attracted first to your most critical issues that need repair and regeneration. And while, as we were talking about, you may not feel this, the internal organs, the, the tissues, it's harder to notice when they're changing, when they're healing. And then at sooner or later, we do say, hey, that's not happening anymore. And within six weeks, the brain balancing is, starts to become more noticeable. In a recent study show after six weeks, the brain becomes more balanced through QEEG brain mapping. I don't know what that is, but I don't know what the Q is. These types of changes help calm overactive brains, leading to a decrease in multiple symptoms, such as memory, depression, anxiety, sleep, and more. And that Pat was talking about well, her calm, her mind is more settled. Her AEDD is much less an influence in her life. Within three months, they found that collagen is increased. The collagen is elevated, initiating rapid repair of tissues in your body. And there are studies that, uh, there's testimonies that if you ask us, we'll get you the links. Bone on, Where there's bone on bone in the knees, they found the cartilage has actually grown back. So... That's going to take longer than three months, I believe, but this is what people are reporting is happening to them. And within six months, the reduced the heart age is reduced. They found in a study that after six weeks of the of the of the patch wearing the patch, the X thirty nine, the cardiovascular system was acting eight weeks younger. So basically that means for every day you wear the patch, the cardiovascular system is a day and a third younger. 
So next year we'll all be in baby uh, strollers and <laughs> feeling really good. And within the final, with a whole year, 12 months, regeneration is noticeable. We look and feel younger inside and out. And as we've seen here tonight and with our other testimonies, even in the first few days, this is happening for people. So this is a, a good understanding for folks who are brand new to LifeWave, what you can expect. Everybody's different. Everybody has different experiences. Some people have similar experiences. And that's all I have to say about the science for today. Anything anybody wants to comment on? You want to add some of our experience with the people that we're patching? I, don't, I can well, talk about other people. Yeah, we'll probably, we could let them, we could invite them on if they'd like to come on. Um, you and Dick can get together with me and we can make our own granola bars. I'm not doing it alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pat and Dick. It's it's great to see you. It's a wonderful surprise. Congratulations with your eyes. It's a wonderful surprise to hear. And uh, the Dr. side Pat. effect is I have to pay for new new glasses. <laughs> yeah, there's always a cash. <laughs> Well, maybe eventually you will need them. Right. That's right. There you go. So save in the long run. Yes. When you start feeling better, you're going to have to pay to go to those nightclubs again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks so much. Dr. Pat, thank you again. It's great to be on this podcast with you. And until next Wednesday, we wish you all good health and joy, joy, joy. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye.